It's in the cool of the evening. I'm here at uh, Our Lady Cemetery in Sublette in front of the uh, cemetery altar. And I hope I don't have any regrets uh, this weekend. I don't have any now because of the temperature and the weather, but I hope uh, we get this good weather for our masses this weekend. I've decided to have all of the masses at uh, for this July 4th weekend at the cemeteries in the respective churches. So we'll have the four o'clock mass uh, in Sublette uh, here at, at our cemetery, and then I'll go to West Brooklyn at the 5.30 Mass, and we'll have the uh, cemetery Mass at their outdoor cemetery. And then on uh, Sunday morning, we'll have the Mass at 8 o'clock in the morning at Maytown's altar in the cemetery, and then we'll come back here at the 10.30 Mass in Sublette on Sunday and celebrate the Mass once more time. So it's so important that we do celebrate a cemetery Mass or a Mass in, at the cemetery altar of our respective cemeteries, uh, at least once a year. It's so important that uh, we remember uh, the dead that are buried here, our, our lost family members, our good parishioners, uh, the people that gave us our Catholic faith. And we always uh, remember them in the Pro Popolo Mass. So that's the Mass that's prayed every Sunday uh, for both the living intentions of the living parishioners and for the uh, intentions of all of the deceased parishioners of our parishes and so we have a pro popolo mass every weekend and every solemnity for the people that are buried out here in our cemetery and that's the beautiful point about uh, burying uh, a loved one in a catholic cemetery when they pass is that they're assured of always having at least once a week a mass prayed for them but it's so important to come out actually to these cemeteries and celebrate the mass and to raise the eucharist our lord jesus christ above the altar remember it's uh, it's been since the funeral mass uh, for many of our beloved dead, that was the last time they saw Jesus Christ. And so when we actually come and say, pray the Mass at the cemetery uh, and the Eucharist is raised above the altar, uh, Jesus looks out at all of the souls that are buried here. And they look back at our Lord and they, they see all of us celebrating the Mass for them. And there's great hope that one day they, they too will be in heaven as the saints of God. And so on this uh, 4th of July weekend, uh, the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Uh, we'll have the regular readings for the Mass, but we'll pass out little flags uh, and we'll bless them, and then you can go to the uh, respective uh, places of, of your beloved dead and just uh, uh, plant the flag there by their graveside. They don't have to be a veteran to, uh, to plant their flag. They have to be American citizens, and so, of course, all of the our beloved dead were American citizens, uh, proud to be members of Our Lady Perpetual Help Church, Sublette, St. Mary the Assumption Church, West Brooklyn, and St. Patrick's Church, Maytown. And so you'll plant uh, a little flag by their, uh, by their graveside, by their tombstone, and uh, just let them know that uh, you continue to love and pray for them, and especially celebrate the Eucharist for them. So remember to bring your lawn chairs uh, this weekend and uh, meet at the cemetery grounds of your church and we'll celebrate the Mass, not only for the living intentions of our parishioners, but also especially for the deceased intentions on this 4th of July weekend, the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. May God bless you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May these souls and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.